Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Back in March, Marvel released issue 1 of the new series Star Wars Bounty Hunters, and because of the pandemic gripping the world and the Clone Wars dropping right around the same time, this series kinda fell to the back burner for me. But man, oh man am I glad that I finally dove into this series because it's quickly becoming one of my favorite canon comic series. It's seriously awesome as hell and I'd absolutely recommend reading it. Written by Ethan Sachs, the series is set following the aftermath of the Battle of Hoth, where the criminal underworld is now able to thrive, and various crime syndicates and criminals are vying for power and influence across the galaxy. The story is headlined by the badass bounty hunters Baylord Valance, Boba Fett, Bosk, and several others. It's a wild ass ride of a story, so let's dive into this series starting with part 1. The story opens in Coronet City on Corellia, and we learn that Boba Fett, Bosk, Valance and his mentor, the Nautilan female, Nakano Lash, as well as the human male bounty hunter, Ta'angor, are attacking the sanctuary of the criminal organization, the Unbroken Clan. The group of bounty hunters were hired by Camus, a human male criminal who's heir to the Mourner's Whale Syndicate, to infiltrate the Unbroken Clan sanctuary on Corellia, but not much else is entirely clear as to what Camus and or the Mourner's Whale Syndicate's intentions are for breaking into the Unbroken Clan sanctuary. Once inside, Camus goes to kill several beings that we don't see, but Nakano Lash kills Camus, and fearing for their lives now that Camus is dead, the bounty hunters flee, and Nakano Lash escapes into hiding. The story then fast forwards to Valance, hunting down several Deveronians at Black Spire Outpost on Batuu. As Valance works to apprehend the Deveronians, his droid 94L explains that the bounty for the single individual will only cover the fuel and docking costs, as Valance quickly killed two of the Deveronians and the bounty requires the marks to be brought in alive. Valance captures the sole Deveronian and 94L informs him that he scanned a bounty puck that Valance will definitely want to see. We then cut to the moon of Logal Rai and are introduced to Ta'anga, Ta'angor's twin sister, as she's preparing to leave. Ta'anga's lover, Lasha, is pleading with her not to go, but Ta'anga explains that she must avenge the death of her brother, Ta'angor. From there we then come to Bosk at the Carbon Score Cantina on the planet Burnin Khan in the Anawat Sector, proclaiming that he should have killed Boba Fett as he deserved to be the one to capture Han Solo. Dr. Aphra and the badass Black Kersantin soon arrive, and a fight breaks out between Black Kersantin and Bosk. Dr. Aphra is able to defuse the situation by telling Bosk she's stolen his blaster and that she also has information about where she has been hiding since their failed mission on Corellia, referring to Nakano Lash. We then transition to Syfax Bountiful Bounties, and I love that their motto is, Dead or Alive, Doesn't Matter to Us. What a motto. Syfax is trying to get in touch with Valance to offer him the job of hunting down Nakano Lash, but Valance quickly declines and Syfax gives the bounty to the Thespasian bounty hunter, Oris Bynor. Not fully trusting Oris, Syfak contacts Boba Fett to enlist his services, who is currently en route to presumably Jabba's palace, as we see a frozen and carbonite Han Solo in the cargo hold of Slave One, which, how frickin' dope. Initially, Boba Fett wants nothing to do with Syfax's offer. However, once Syfax tells him that Nakano Lash has returned, Boba Fett tells him he'll take the job and that Syfax can keep his credits. And that's where the issue ends. As previously mentioned, this series is not one to miss and one that I'd highly recommend checking out. It's seriously awesome as hell and just gets better from here. But what's your thoughts about the new Bounty Hunter series by Ethan Sachs? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay nerdy.